In this session we're going to talk about conditions. Conditions are a part of global objects within Vichicron that can control the flow of jobs or, or tasks. For example, if you don't want your task to run unless a specific file exists or you want output or result to be a specific value in order to continue with the next task, then you can use conditions to control this flow. Conditions are global, which means that they can be reused many times at different places. Conditions can be attached to both jobs and tasks. Conditions are being run before a job or task is being run. So you create a condition and let the action decide whether to run the job or task. You find conditions in the main menu. Conditions are based on two objects, the condition set and the actual conditions. The condition set is a placeholder for one or more conditions, similar to the job object. You can have as many conditions within the condition set as you want. In the condition set you control what happens if one or more conditions are met. To add a condition set, cl simply click on the add button. In the main window you can set the description for the condition. In the conditions tab you can see all the conditions that are attached to this condition set. In the actions tab you can see and control what happens when one or more conditions are met. For example, you can set it to continue what it was supposed to be doing. That will go to the next task if you have set it on a task. You can set it to skip the current task and go to the next task. You can set it to retry this task and if you want to do that you may want to add a wait between. For example you want to wait a minute and then retry the task. Or maybe you want to exit the whole job. You can choose to run another job that you already have defined. And you can choose to run a specific task within your job or in another job. On match all means that all conditions are met. For example, if you have one file condition that checked for a file exists, and you have another Vichicron condition that checks for a specific output, and if all these are true, then this on match all will be the action for the condition set. If you you can choose to edit the on match and in, and that means that either of them should be true and then it will do whatever you want here on match none means that none of the act none of the conditions that you have are using in this condition set are true and if something goes wrong we don't know exactly what it could be but if something goes wrong you want to control that as well and the default setting for this is to exit the job We're going to look at the different conditions uh, that you can add to condition set. We click on the add button and we can see that we have six different kind of conditions at the moment. The first one is the Vichicron condition. The Vichicron condition checks the internal objects. For example, for if you have two tasks and you want to check something before you run the second task you can cho choose this default setting which is um, to look at the previous task which is task 1 and then for example if you want to look at the output you could uh, check the output here and the output should be well success. Let's say you have executed something and it returns success and only if it returns success you want to continue. 
You can also uh, check the exit code of the previous task. Uh, the exit code is always zero if uh, it's a success. If you know other exit codes, you can check for it. Also, you can check another job if it's uh, a specific exit code of the job or if it's running. You can um, select another job or task within within uh, the same server to check if uh, that task failed or had a specific output. We're going to take a look at some other condition the file condition and that's exactly what it is it will try to look for a specific file and um, you can set it to check if that file exists or not or it, if it has a specific content and um, you can check for exact content with is or is not or if it contains a specific content and if the file is located on a network drive, you need to use the credential. The folder condition is similar. It checks if a folder exists or not. The process condition checks if a specific process is running or not. service condition can check this local server or uh, another server if it's the spe uh, specific service running on that other server and you can choose what it should check for if it's running or if it's not running stop state or something else Then the last condition is the variable condition. And in this in this condition you can choose to compare two different variables. For example, you can compare uh, if you have received a specific number from the SQL task, you can uh, use the output or value here and check if it's larger or um, smaller than a specific value you can check for a string if it matches or contains you can use regular expressions to match or you can just check a bo boolean value okay now we'll create the sample condition set that we will use in one of our tasks we click on the conditions button which is opening the, the condition sets listing we click on the add button we create a description for the condition set um, test condition set and we want to add a condition to this one and in this case we want to check for a specific file Click on the file tab. We try to pick up a file that we look at. And we use the default setting file exists true. Okay. And if we look at the actions, we see that if the file exists, we want to continue. Otherwise, we want to exit. And we use these default settings. We can see that the condition set is added here and it contains one conditions, condition. So these are global and can be reused for any task or job, but we want to add it to a specific task. In this case we have um, um, one job with two tasks one SQL task and one wait task. These are your sample tasks to test the condition and we want to check if the file exists be before we are running this wait task. 
So you open the weight task, go to, to the conditions tab, and we go to the test condition set that we created, we check this one and press OK. So now when we run this job, we will see. And we see that the weight task started and completed. And it did that because the file existed. So now we try to delete that file. Remove the file to another place and run the job and we can see that when we run it that the actual number two task here did never run and as this testing goes really fast and uh, maybe we want to debug this some more and see what happened and why we can um, open the condition open the condition set and we double click on the condition set and in this window we have this extended debug logging and when we check this what happens is that the debug output from the conditions the actual flow and actions it take will enter the the real-time log. So we click on OK here. We close this. And we run this job again. And here we can see what happened. We see that we ran the job. It says here that we skipped the condition check because the job was run manually. And we only skip the condition check on uh, the job level. And right now we're using on, on the task level, so it, it does not matter. We see that task 1 is started and task 1 is completed. Then if we expand this some more, we will see that we're using the we are running the test condition set for task 2. And the actual condition was the file condition. We used the file exist and it returned match false. The file did not exist. No match was the actual result. And the match, the action for the match none is action exit. It will exit the job. So it did not run as we uh, planned. It did not run it and it completed the job. And this is one way to debug this further to, to know which steps it took and why. And if we want to, let's say we have had put this on the, we, we can add it right now, we can add it to uh, the same kind of test condition to the actual job. And it will check for the same file. So if we run this and look at the log again, we'll see here. Uh, and what we see right now is the condition check. Well, it, we will see the same result as before because uh, as we said here that now we attached the condition set to the job and as it was run manually the first conditions were never, was not checked on the job we need to uh, to do this we need to right click and run job with conditions so we run this job with conditions we did this now and we'll look at the log again. And now we can see it. we started the job and we checked the condition and it failed. Well, it returned no match and the job was exited. 
So this is one sample how to use the, the conditions and uh, we can examine further the actions. If we want to change this for example. We, uh, well if it if it um, does not exist we want to continue and otherwise we want to exit. We can change this behavior here by the actions or we could open the actual file conditions and change it to false here. So it's important to know that the changes that you make here will affect the actions and what you are doing at the actions will affect this. So with these combinations you can control the flow. We thank you for watching this uh, session about conditions and if you have further questions please post a topic in the forum or contact support. Thank you.